All right, we want to give our praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akadash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom tell you, Akim out there, we're going to go into fearing the Lord uh, and working on our roots because we know the root of wisdom is, 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 is fear. So if you don't have healthy roots, you, you ain't gonna grow in this thing really. You know, you can know what you you can know with peace of all day, but if you neglect your roots, you being the plant, you you eventually gonna die. And right there is the reality. So we're gonna start with the first scripture you have to die. Done. This is uh Sirach chapter one, verse eight. It says, There is one wise and greatly to be feared, the Lord sitting upon his throne. He created her and saw her and numbered her. And poured her out upon all his works. Go ahead. She is with all flesh according to his gift, and he has given her to them that love him. Mm. Right. So it says greatly to be feared. So we got to start meditating on what that means. Because at the end of the day, Yahweh Shema Rashad looking at us to see if we pay attention to that. Because that's the conclusion of the whole matter at the end of the day. If you don't fear him, but you know something, it don't it don't mean nothing, because you you know this breakdown. You know all the you know all the breakdowns, but you neglect fearing. You how about Shimon Shai? You neglect zone in on that, okay? By your actions, right? Because right. if you don't fear, when you don't fear, it's it's a way you walk that's just not beneficial to the body, right? To yourself, of course, but it's just a very base, and it's when you don't fear the Lord, like you don't have any regard. You don't think that there's a you can get touched for your actions. You think you just be able to do whatever the hell you want forever. Right, exactly. Exactly. You don't you don't care to add sin to sin. Right, right. You just keep adding up and it's doing like, like Esau does, right, pretty much. Right. That's what Esau does. He adds sin to sin to sin to sin. He just add, he ain't got he got zero fear. We know why he has zero fear. Right. And the you, point is yeah, you you get yourself in these situations and, and it, you constantly Messed up, and you never ask. Well, what if, what is the Lord trying to tell me? Right. You just steady going, justifying yourself. Right. No fear of the Lord, basically. Right. That's an example, you know. Right. Right. All right. Is it on? It should be done that, right? Yeah. Okay. I have some. Go ahead. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter ten, verse nineteen. It says, "They that fear the Lord are a sure seed." Now, when you grab that word "sure" in uh, the online etymology dictionary as an adjective, all right, it says safe against attack. Secure, mm. firm, reliable, mentally certain, confident. Ooh, safe against attack. Safe to be attacking. Safety. You see, so so we talk about the safe tower. Their name being the safe tower. You have to deal with their name with fear. You can't just call upon your high about you know I was shy. And that's why the scripture says, "Many shall in that day said I did this. I you know I I did all these stuff and you know I I rebuked I miracle everything." And he said. Get out of my sight. I do not know you. Now, why are you saying that? Because there ain't no fear. There's no root in that individual. That's why he said, I don't know you. I don't care what you think you did, but you didn't go through that door. There's only one door you got to go through. You can't go through the window, through that door. And you got to go through that door the right way. And you have to fear first because that's the root of all the things, you know, of, of your plant blooming, of you blooming in this thing, of getting close to your how about you not a shot. Right, go ahead. Right. Sirach 10 and 19 again, it says, They that fear the Lord are a sure seed, and they that love him an honorable plant. They that regard not the law are a dishonorable seed. They that transgress the commandments are a deceivable seed. So there you go. So it's, it's, it's highlighting the, the importance of fearing Yahweh Bashanah Shah. You can't skip over this just because you know some scriptures. <laughs> this is. You can work on, like I said earlier, you can work on the branches and the leaves all the day. <coughs> but what about the roots? Got to have healthy roots. Can I, can I? Right, go ahead. Right. Uh, this is uh, in Psalms 89 and 7. It says, The Most High is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be had in reverence of all them that are about him. Ooh, in reverence. So that's how you reverence, by fearing. He said, greatly, it says, greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints. So this is the main thing we need to be pushing. Because that's why when you read, when it says, uh, 
uh, as far as who shall be greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. It's a who teaches basically the fear to follow what he said, follow his commandments. So mm -hmm. that lets you know how high the Lord looks at that. You know, there's a lot of things we can teach in this word that, that's beneficial, mm -hmm. but the best thing is to fear the Lord. Right, because right. that's ultimately even in the times we're coming into, that's what's going to help you to get through Esau's BS. Period. That's it. Because it's going to tempt your flesh, but when you fear the Lord, there's decisions you're going to make that are vital to salvation. Right. And he'll bless you anyway. Esau's t tempting you with the flesh of what you can have and what you can't have, but you fear the Lord, you can have that and more. Man. <laughs> right. You well, may have to go through a point of, uh, you know, like, oh shit, you know, but it'll eventually work out. Right. Right. And that's going to give you that confidence, which you're going to get to a little bit. But that's going to give you that confidence to know that, you know, to walk by faith and not by the sight of things. All right. Uh, somebody got Psalms 34? I got, I'm, that's a spirit. I'm actually I got one too. real quick. Okay, okay. Go ahead. This is uh, <laughs> Sirach, Sirach 1 and uh, 21. The fear of the Lord driveth away sins, and where it is present, it turneth away wrath. Man, read that again. Bro. Right. The fear, Sirach 1 and 21. The fear of the Lord driveth away sins, and where it is present, it turneth away wrath. So we got to make this more present in our life so it can turn away the wrath of Yahweh Shai. It said, Judgment shall start the house of Yahweh Shai. Right. So, you know, us on this, I mean, really think about how much power that is, man. Because if where it is present, he looks at you and says, you know what, I ain't going to jack you up. I'm going to have mercy upon you. We need that, man. We need that mercy for what's about to take place mm -hmm. and leading up to what's about to take place. Like to even get there, to even see. You know, we need that. So where it is present, it turn away the wrath of your how about your mouth shot. Gotcha. Proverbs 14 and 27. The fear of the Lord is a foundation of life to depart from the snares of death. Ooh. Read that again. Read that again. Right. The fear of the Lord is a foundation of life to depart from the snares of death. To depart. Ooh, I mean, he's going to save you. Meaning, he's going to save you based on your fear. Right? And your fear is going to give you confidence to have that faith. And that goes hand in hand. It because gets you out of messed up situation. Man. Damn, that's a lot. No, no, no. You're, you're, you're right because what you just said, you said it gets you out of messed up situations. Let's prove that. Psalms 34, verse 7. Kind of. Psalms 34 and 7, it says, The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Out of situations. Right. And delivereth them out of situations, out of troubles, right. out of certain things, you know, that, that come about. And the angels see, our assigned angels are there and, and they do exactly what they need to do. Right. So when you fear the angels around you, they ready to deliver you out of stuff. Keep you in the way. To right. keep to keep you in the way. Keep Read that again. Yep. It says, uh, Psalms thirty four and seven. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Why you th why you think uh, who, who was Elisha or Elijah? That, that, that was Elijah that that uh, the angels popped up. He called the angels. Uh, and uh. Thousands and thousands of horse of the horsemen. Cherry, I was just reading the that. chariots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elisha, right? Yeah, Elisha. Elijah. Was it Elijah or Elisha? I think it was, that Elisha. was Elisha. It was Elisha. Uh, Elisha. Okay, and yeah. His yeah, servant. I, 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 okay, yeah. Kind of, kind of, okay, okay. His servant was scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They yeah. were coming. Right, but but he knew they were around him because he said, "Open up." He said, "He he asked for uh for his servant to see." So he knew they were there. Now, why did he know they were there? Because he feared the Lord. So he he had the confidence to know they were there. He didn't fear nothing. Right. Because he knew your high about your shot was on his side. He knew it. It's a weapon, man. Right. So the fear of the Lord is a like the fear of the Lord is a weapon, man. That's the biggest weapon you can ever have right there. Right. You know, you know, not just, oh, I cut this individual with a scripture. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's a weapon in a sense, but at the end of the day, the biggest weapon is the fear of the Lord. Now now keep reading on that. It's John, verse 8. It says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Oh, taste and see. So he said, Fear me. I'm going to protect you. Taste it. 
Taste it. The Lord is good. Go ahead. It says, Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. There is no want to them that fear him. So when you say seek the kingdom, everything going to be added is fearing him. Seeking the kingdom is fearing the Lord. Done. Because that's the root of the wisdom, and it said wisdom bringeth you to the kingdom. Done. Man. Fear the Lord is little. That's the beginning of, right. of knowledge. That's it. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 1 and 7 is the beginning of knowledge. Right. You have to, if you don't have the fear of the Lord, any of the knowledge and information you've gathered, it won't be beneficial won't to you. Because you ain't going to be yeah. compelled to keep your integrity even right. without that fear. Right. Right. That's why uh, Job kept his integrity right. overall because he was rooted in the fear. Right. right. Despite whatever situations he was going through. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. Fear compels you to, to move a certain way. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. And right there, that's why faith is dead without what? Without works. The works is the moving. Mm -hmm. It said that Abraham moved with fear. Noah. Right? Yep. And, 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 and uh, yeah, Noah, Noah and Noah. others. Okay, so it, the scriptures repeatedly, when you read the scriptures, and you get comforted, you're going to run across those fear scriptures. That's going to remind you, you better fear me though. Because if you don't, it, what you got ain't no good, you know. It's a morning to, to 11. Kind of, kind of. So. When you fear the Lord, you acknowledge him first in every situation. Right. You always, you know, one of the ways to get through a lot of the stuff you go through is to say this was the Lord's will. Right. This was written already. Right. That's, right. you know what I'm saying? You're right. acknowledging this is his will. Right, exactly. Shalom. 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 And when you do that, it, it's a comfort in the hell it you're is. going through. Because you, you now know. you're searching, what does the Lord want? What do I need to get from this? You know? right. and, and you know what? When you have that integrity. You, you don't go down. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when you have that integrity and you look at it like that, like you said, you can deal with whatever come your way right. on a whole other level because he gives you the spirit. See, right. the fear is the root. The wisdom is the power. The more fear, the more power. The more power, the more you have the spirit to deal mm. with whatever comes your way. Now you can see in a dark place because the wisdom is the light. You want more light, you have more fear because that's the root. Mm -hmm. All that goes together. Uh, it's more on that. Kind of, yeah, I'm going to keep going. It, it, Psalms 34, I'll read 9. Man. It says, O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, uh -huh. for there is no want to them that fear him. Go ahead. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Well, hold on. So seek, seek the kingdom, and everything gonna be added. Right. Right before that, I said, remember I broke, remember earlier I put that together? Mm -hmm. Right there is putting it together. Right. The seeking him is fearing him. Right, right, right. Because that because the desire of discipline, that's the desire of getting near to him, of him right. getting closer to you. So right there, breaks that down. Go ahead. Precept? Uh, but go ahead. Yeah. yeah, this is a quick precept. This is Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Yeah. It says, fear the most high and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Right, man. So in a nutshell, that's where your whole uh, faith is, is established upon that fear. Right. That's right. That seed of faith is pretty much planted through through the fear. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, it's one scripture I forgot what it was. I looked for it, I couldn't find it. But it talks about how a man that knows a lot, but a man that knows little, Oh yeah, but he's a, but, right but, but he's greater than that man that knows a lot because he feared the Lord. Mm -hmm. So the Lord looked at him greater than that individual. Oh yeah. Though he sounded smart, he know all the breakdowns. Right. He got the best garment. You know what I'm saying? He, he, when they know little, but with much fear. Yeah, yeah. So right there, that shows you how the Lord look at this man. Mm. And, the think, most, and the most dangerous one is the one the people with influence and money who don't fear the Lord. That's when it gets dangerous. Right. And that's the situation we're in under Esau. Right. He don't fear the Lord. <laughs> at all, but at he all. control everything. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's true. Because to not fear the Lord is ultimately pride. Yeah. Yeah. And that's going before destruction. Right. Yep. Read verse 11. Okay, kind of. Yeah, that's the last one. This is back in uh, Psalms 34 and 11. It says, Come ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. So we got to be taught more of the fear of the Lord. <laughs> now, when he said teach you the fear of the Lord, it's what does it mean to fear the Lord, and what do we benefit from fearing the Lord? Power, man. All our power. Right. 
And that's power because it, right. it ain't of yourself. Right. So where's the power coming from? Oh, it's coming God. from Yahweh Bashi Marashai, the angels around you, like we just read, 30, uh, Psalm 34 and 7, the angels and kept around you. That's power. That's a that's a, literally an army around you, man. Right. So you mean to tell me you can leave a house where you can wake up, leave a house, and there's an army around you wherever you go. Come on, man. That that's that's doing things around you. Changing this, adjusting this way, doing this throughout your whole path. Okay. Now remember, I think what was it during the Moses time it says, listen to my angel. Um uh, it said what did it say? Uh, Exodus 23. It, it said, yeah, yeah. Hearken unto mine angel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. it says... Want me to get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. okay. okay. it says, uh, he, will, he, will, he will not acquit or something like that. I'm trying to quote it. He, he basically, he was a priest, you know. Yeah. This is uh, Exodus 23 and 20. Yeah, that's it. Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Uh -huh. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions. You hear that? It's a priest. So, so, the, so the angels around, look, it says, don't provoke. So the angels are around us to protect us, and we fear they're going to protect us, but at the same time, they're watching to see what, we, they, they watching to see what we're doing. Man. Right. Mm -hmm. And you get lazy in the flesh, and you, you know they're watching. And you fall, you know, you fall victim to the flesh right in front of it, and you know it. You know, and that's why we need mercy. That's why we need grace to get that to get that together. But at the end of the day, the Lord knows if we really fear Him, versus just you know going through troubles. Paul had troubles. Paul talked about it. Did Paul fear the Lord? Of course he did. That's but right. but even Paul said, "Man, I, I do some things yep. I don't want to do. I do it anyway. Man, this flesh is killing me." That's right. Seven. Right. So that's supposed to comfort us so we don't lose the confidence just because we fail. That's right. You know, get, get that. Yeah, go, go ahead, go ahead. Just, just to add to that, Saquon, that's a beautiful point. You know, it even shows you to turn your life away from evil and to repent and be involved in this thing is really a true testament of our fear of the Lord. Right. You know, and as we're in this thing amongst these great men, that fear of the Lord gets heightened because you understand how the Lord works and now you're in a position where you know that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's a, the fear of the Lord within itself. With us being in this congregation and turning away from evil, you right? Know? So we were we're a, a huge step versus the rest of the world is what I'm getting at, right? Right. You know, and, and also too, even feeling bad is the fear of the Lord when you do right. something. When that's you right. do something and you're like, oh, that's the fear in you. That's right. why you the reason why you feel that way because you fear Him, even if you did it, but because you felt like, like you said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. That's you right. felt you got weak, but even that feeling, like, dang, that's fear. Right. Versus walk around like trying to hide sin, like you ain't did nothing. Mm -hmm. That's why it says, if you confess your sins, he is faithful to forgive. That's right. So at the end of the day, Yahweh Shah's blood gave us grace, but we got to deal with them correctly. Even when we mess up, we Absolutely. still got to go about a certain way of order with integrity of how we deal with them through our mistakes. You, you get quick yep. Job 28 and 28. And unto man, he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. <laughs> And to depart from evil is understanding. That's it. Depart from evil is understanding. Yep. Hey, with all that getting, get what? Understand. Come on, man. Because you can be a billionaire, but if you don't fear the Lord, you you gonna be you gonna be a demon with it. That's, That's right. right. Knowing when to <laughs> yeah. how to identify evil, and like you know, I got I got to move myself out of that situation. Man. Look at Vanessa. He was a billionaire. Look what happened to him. He ain't had to fear the Lord. Was brought down. Yeah. The fear of the yeah, Lord, yeah, yeah. that is wisdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. God, dog. I got something too, if y'all. Yeah, yeah. Can, can, cool. can somebody grab Psalms 147, verse 11? And then somebody grab Luke 1 and 50. Go ahead, Doctor. Huh. This, is, this is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 12. I, wisdom, will dwell in prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy in the evil way. And the forward mouth, do I hate? Mm. Right there within itself is giving you the is giving you the formula of how to fear the most high. It's giving you the instructions right there. That's right. You know, that was it on that. Yeah, God. I wisdom find out witty inventions. That's how we found out about the the, the chip and everything. Yeah, the yeah, wisdom. Yeah, yes, that's yep. it. It figured the Lord figured his ass out through giving us the wisdom. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. If we wouldn't have got that if we didn't fear. Right. And the first you wouldn't have, you know, because you can get information. 
and have it, but to really get into it, that's that wisdom. Wisdom Absolutely. gets you deep. That yeah. that's those dark parables and the things that's not so easy to understand for the average person. That's because we feel the Lord. Man. So the Lord giving us, He giving us that deep wisdom. Sending you down that blessings. Sending you down blessings when you when you get into situations where you do what's right, you choose the spirit over the flesh. That's opening you up to more access right. of information or, or, or something in the spirit. Or and another armor, more armor. And, and that's the spirit. You said that because that's why the whole root situation. Yeah. When roots dig into the ground, you got healthy roots. They 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 root into the ground and they drawing all those nutrients from the ground yeah. so the plant can grow. Mm -hmm. The nutrients is the information, the wisdom, the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So now wisdom can meet us in every thought mm -hmm. because why? We zone in on fear. And that's why he is called the root of Jesse. Yeah. The root. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the root. Yeah, yeah. He, he, it's him. Yeah. That's him. Yeah. We the branches. We the branches. You know yeah. what I'm Somebody got Psalms 147? Uh, Which level? Move in One. Uh, One. Okay. Psalms chapter 147 and verse 11. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai takes pleasure in them that fear him. Ooh, read that again. Uh, Psalms 147 and 11. Mm. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai takes pleasure in them that fear him. Ooh. Now, now, now think about that. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has all the power. So if they take pleasure in you because you said you took the responsibility and said, you know what? I'm going to zone more in on fear. I'm going to take fear in the Lord even more seriously. I'm going to be more detailed in this war and watch what I'm doing. Yeah, I watch what I do, but I need to step it up. If you step it up, think about what the Lord going to do for you. Because he's taking pleasure. Read that again. one more time. Bible show. Psalm 147 and 11. The Lord, be high by some out shy, take pleasure in them that fear him and in those that hope in his mercy. Ooh, that hope in his mercy. So, Right there, fear. You can't get around it, man. And it, and that's why that's why he said, send wisdom down from thy throne. He'll send it down more. Like the other we were just talking about, he'll send it down more because he has more pleasure in you because you fear him more. How much more when we get into the pinnacle of what's getting ready to happen, when we show we fear? What? Imagine what he's getting ready to do. Right. right. That's what the miracle's going to come. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So that means you're going to have to fear the Lord to get the miracle. Right, right. Meaning you're going to have to be like, I'm not cheating on my husband in, in the spirit. Right, right. Done. You got to be like a, a faithful woman because there, this world is getting ready to come with all manner of things that are to tempt you to turn against. Right. Out of temptation. That's real. He said, who would, ever call, uh, who would ever call on the Lord and they confound it? You know what I'm saying? Right. That damsel included. Right, right. But you, gotta, uh, you can't get delivered if you don't call out. You know what I'm saying? It's a penalty if you don't. That's right. Shit. That's right. You got Luke? You got Luke? Yeah. 950? Somebody can hold Sarah 1920. St. Luke, Luke 1 and 50, it says, And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. Read that, read that again. Luke 1 and 50, And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. So we want his mercy to the end of the day. We coming into a time that's going to be the worst time in history, man. Now, how many times we gotta say that? Ooh. The worst time in history. We know that's what it we know that's the prophecy. Yep. And we know we like right there. So we're gonna need mercy in this whole time. We're gonna see a lot of stuff. And it's gonna be and we're gonna be like, whoa. But what's gonna give you confidence to be able to get through all that, man? Especially if you got children, you got a whole household that looking at you like, what are we gonna do? You better if you fear the Lord, you're gonna be confident to tell them everything. But you don't fear the Lord, and they ask you what we're going to do, you're going to be like, just, just follow you, Esau. Right, 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 right. You, you're going to fall, man. You see that with the jab right now. Right. You're going to fall, man. And then your whole house are going to fall. Then you're going to have to suffer and see your kids suffer. It's not, it's not what you want. <laughs> it's not what we want, man. At, at all. All right? Hell to the no. No. Is it on this? Somebody got it? Uh, uh, sorry, nineteen twenty. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 19, and verse 20. Uh -huh. It says, The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. And in all wisdom. Is oh, oh, hold on. Wisdom. All wisdom. Yeah. The fear of the Lord is all. Man. So when you fear the Lord, you have access to what? All, all yeah. wisdom. Yeah. Then we can go to James. Matt, somebody get that. James chapter 1. Then when you ask, if you like it, he'll give it to you. Oh, Why? Because yeah, yeah. he got pleasure in you. That's right. Because you're on point with fearing him. 
I mean, your woman. You know what I'm saying? You you open when when you when you can see that she's literally with, down with you and you know what I'm saying. Man, you want to do more for yeah, you want to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. You want to do more. You it's know. True. It's yeah. facts. Of course, it, you know we here in Babylon, but you want to. You know what I'm saying? That's a uh, that's just like uh, yeah, yeah, what's that uh, a good fellas, a good fellas when he was measuring old girl. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was doing all this stuff for her. He wanted to see if she was down, mm-hmm. and the the thing that tipped it over the scales for when he opened the door for her to get in the car. And she got in, he was walking around the car to get in, and by the time he got over there, she had leaned over and opened his door, and he was like, oh, yeah, she down. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was that type of deal. And that's the same way we being looked at. You know what I'm saying? He saw, he, the Lord had already showed him. Look, I'll I show out. You know I'll show out. Now I need to see if you're going to show out. Right, you know? right. Good, good. Yeah. Good. Right. That's James. Yeah. Yeah. It's the book of James chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse 2. Okay. It says, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work with patience, but let patience have a perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire one to nothing. And that's the thing. And that's the thing. Read that again, Bible Michelle. Come on. It says, but let patience have a perfect work. Let patience have a perfect work. Let the Spirit do what it do. That's right. Mm-hmm. You was put in this situation to elevate. Period, point blank. No matter how messed up the situation is, you know, we've been preparing for situations like that. It said, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare yourself for temptation. Mm-hmm. It's going to always be something. It says, constantly endure. You see? And with the fear of the Lord, you're going to be able to constantly endure. Because the, the, the Lord say, fear him that can kill the body and the spirit. Right. The Lord is the only one that can do that. Constantly. So if he telling you he with you, you better believe him. You know? Right. That's straight up. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You, that's what I'm saying. You, 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 you consistently pay bills, but your family, your whole household looking at you like, what we going to do? How we going to do this? What we going to do? It, it ain't never been late. It ain't never been not on. It, it's always A1. Mm-hmm. It's always 100. What you, why are you in my face? Right. You know what I'm saying? So that first, that, that was like, you need to fear what life is like without me. That's another part of the fear of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You see what life is like without the Lord, don't you? Yep. You better, you better, you better free your husband leaving. You know, what I'm saying? if he leave me, I'm through. Right? right. That's that's some fear for your ass. Mm-hmm. Your wife's supposed to be scared for you to leave. You know. Okay. Read that again. This is back in verse four. Oh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Come, come. But let patience have her perfect work. That you may be perfect, entire, wanting nothing. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be fulfilled through fear. Verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the most high. That give it to all men literally, liberally. And you got to pray to the leader. You got you to use the access you have. Right, right. Utilize it, bro. Yeah. When you're going through spiritual lows, acknowledge it. Don't run from it. I'm, I'm through right now, Lord. Right. Send me the whole and, and bro, you in about one two days or whatever, yeah, yeah. you'll notice I'm on fire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, <laughs> yep, True. absolutely, that's right. Real talk. But you gotta act. You gotta literally have fear enough to be honest with the. I'm through. I'm going off. Like Lord, please help, help, help. 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 Send me uh, help. Uh, uh, inspiration. That's right. Yeah, you'll mm-hmm. do it. Because, I felt it because it is. How about you now? Shy that strengthen us. Mm-hmm. That's right. You know, and you feel you gotta add, you gotta be able to, you know, to ask for that strength. Mm-hmm. Like you see, that's right. That's right. You wanted verse five, right? Yeah. It got you. It says, "If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask the Most High that give it to all men liberally, and upbraid if not, and it shall be given him." Upbraid if not, meaning, look, man, ask me, man. Don't be afraid to ask me. That's what he said. An upbraid if not. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid to ask me. But if you do ask, what it say? It says, but let him ask in faith. <laughs> Nothing wavering. Nothing wavering. That's doubt. That's yeah, doubt. no seesaw. Mm-hmm. No, I don't know, maybe. Uh, no, yep. come with confidence. But you know, but do you know what would destroy confidence? Not fearing the Lord. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That would make you very hesitant and Absolutely. make you seesaw when you, when you, when you think you're going to go ask. You will have that doubt in your mind because your conscience is defiled. You know? Because you're not really fearing the Lord. Now, now read, read, uh, read Sirach 19:20 again. Uh, this is with the Sirach chapter 19, verse 20. 
The fear of the Lord is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency. Oh, in the knowledge of what? His omnipotency. Unlim so the fear of the Lord will give you the knowledge of the all-powerful. Then when you get that knowledge of the all-powerful, do you realize, like, what up? Man, to understand that he is is a comfort. It's a comfort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And if you, once you get that, it helps you to cope with everything you're going through. Yeah. And make and, and be 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 set on and happy with the fact that you're making a decision that could even end your life, but you're not gonna go against the Lord. He is. Right. That's right. That's a lamb, pretty much, to the slaughter. That's it. Mm. And when you look at the omnipotent, I read that one more time. So right, nineteen and twenty. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency. The knowledge of that power. So when we talk about spiritual power, if you ain't praying the Lord, you ain't doing nothing. Bro, using wisdom is fulfilling the law. Yep. It's fulfilling it. Yep. That's on. how you fulfill the law. That's love. Come on, now. Walking in wisdom is love. That's right. <laughs> That's how you fulfill the law. Right. That's right. It's not so more about the technicalities of the law, we're under grace, right. but more about you walking in the spirit. Right, right. a fear in him. Fear. Yeah. Right. Being sincere about the fear of right. him. Right. And, right. and in that, you fulfill the law. Right, exactly, exactly. You know. Right. Man, it's heavy. Yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah, just jumping up two verses, all right, uh, Sirach 19 and 18. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. And wisdom obtaineth his love. The fear of the Lord is the first step of what? Yeah, so that's fair. accepted of. Ux, man, that's come on. Man. That's, yeah, super, that's, super, that's super fair, bro. We better off than that's people, fair. Jake, with billions of dollars, bro. Yep. Yeah. Way better off. Based on that one concept, we fear the Lord. Yep. Man, yep. damn. But when it says to be accepted, that's that relationship. Now he's dealing with you. Now he's supping with you. Now nah, he's showing you things. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. you know, he popping up and right on time to show you, now nah, I'm with you. Literally, man, literally the Lord will let something get down to the last minute and see what you're gonna do. Then he'll come through just to show you, I told you I got you. He be, he be like, man, you be praising the Lord. Mm -hmm. Right? We all have those moments, right? Don't forget those moments. Those moments are everything. That that that's showing you that he's with you. But you got to trust that, man. Just because something happened again, now you don't want to trust now because something else happened. No, nah, it's the same thing. Either he with you or he not with you. You know? Can somebody grab Wisdom of Solomon chapter 9, verse 4? And then somebody grab Psalms 119, verse 38. Wisdom of Solomon 9, 4. I'm already there. Yeah, I'm already this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 9, verse 4. It says, Give me wisdom that sitteth by thy throne. Oof. And reject me not from among thy children. But he will reject you if you don't fear me. He gonna reject you. Remember what it say in Proverbs chapter one? Because they did not choose to fear the Lord. <laughs> That's what it said. When it said they didn't listen to the counsel, they hated reproof, they hated knowledge, and they did not choose to fear the Lord. They shall call upon me, but I but I will not answer them. Why hang on answer? Because they did not choose to fear the Lord. But those who choose to fear the Lord, he going to answer. Bro, that's everything, man. Right. For him to answer when Esau is going, going crazy, man, in the worst time, that's everything for us. Read that again. Huh? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9, verse 4. <laughs> Give me wisdom that sit by thy throne, and reject me not from among thy children. That's a pop, that See, wisdom is pure power, man. Mm -hmm. Coming from the throne. That he will send down to you. And then if you ask, like we read in James, right? If you lack him, you want some more wisdom, you ask, he'll give it to you. If you believe, and if you walk in right. Okay, but nine times out of ten, if you ain't walking right, you ain't gonna have no really have no sincere faith. You're gonna be because your conscience is gonna be defiled at the end of the day. Alright? Somebody got wisdom uh I mean uh Psalms 119, 38? Huh. Psalm. Well, Psalms 119 and 38. Establish thy word unto thy servant who is devoted to thy fear. Can somebody get that? Wow. On Google definition. Read that again. Which one? Yeah. 
Psalms 119 and 38. Establish thy word unto thy servant, who is devoted to thy fear. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on. Come on, man. And we be asking, like, why won't these other camps be going into this and that? They don't, a lot of them don't fear the Lord, so that's that's your job to do it. Right, right, right. <laughs> you ain't set them up to do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. End of the day. Right, because he hasn't established the word with them they like that. Because up they to, fear ain't there like yeah, that. Yeah, they know that. They, they can give you something. You can get a precept, maybe get some history. You go, know, okay. I'm not saying you listen to them, you ain't going to get nothing, but at the end of the day, there's levels to it. The right. fear, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is going to show his secrets unto the servant. The servants, the prophets fear the Lord. Right, period. And it starts with Yahweh under the Most High. Yep. By him going through what he went through, proving he feared the Lord this time, like at, he messed up as Adam. He messed, like he was able to go back on the right hand side. That's cold. And send you down wisdom. Right. Man. Power. And that shows too that the Most High, if I can think, he was dealing with Cornelius. Like I was telling you earlier. Yeah, yeah, you're because right. when you read this in Psalms 119 38, I'll read it again. It says, Establish thy word unto thy servant who is devoted to thy fear. And we was talking about the word devotional. It goes back to the word devout. Let me read this real quick. Mm, interesting. Acts 10, and uh, I'll just start at 1. It says, There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band. Verse 2, here's the point. It says, A devout man. And one that feared the Most High with all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to the Most High always. So just a little nugget that shows that the Most High had to be dealing with Cornelius as a servant because it shows he was devoted and he feared the Lord. Right. You right. Know? So I just want to just add that. God, read, read that again. Uh, who had devoted to the fear? Yeah, you want me to read it again? Yeah, read that again and get the definition. Kind of. This is Psalms uh, 119 and 38. It says, Establish thy word unto thy servant, who is devoted to thy fear. Man. All right, go ahead. Up. Devoted. It says, Very lovely, loyal, is faithful, true, staunch, steadfast, committed, dedicated, constant, admiring, affectionate, devote, attentive. That's pretty much it. Yeah, and also too, it's basically you up for the examination of your fear towards the Lord. And you devoted, when you devoted to something, you're always thinking about it. Right. When you devoted, you know, you put more thought into it, you put more passion to, to those thoughts. That's what we got to do. We got to put more passion, you know, we can't walk around act like we feel the Lord enough. Right. No, we got room. We definitely got room to say, you know, I ain't doing this. You know, uh, nah, you know, there's levels, you know, that we still got to reach. You know, because it says what? It says the light, it says uh, the bright light that shine bright and brighter until that very day. I forgot the scripture, but uh, that light represents wisdom. So if that light is shining bright and brighter every day, that means your fear is getting stronger because the fear is a root of wisdom. Yeah, right. So that lets you know he expects us to get more Rooted into the fear of him. And he's given us the grace period to do that. That's what the grace period is for. To get more stronger in the fearing, fearing in his truth. Real quick. I got something for you. Yeah, come on, come on. Go ahead. This is Matthew chapter 6, starting at 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Single on what, though? The, the, the conclusion of the matter. The Thank you. Lord. That's exactly what that's talking about. Mm -hmm. And you know it is because the fear is the root. Yep. He said, Your whole, see, if your eyes single towards fear in me, your whole body shall be full of light. Now I will send wisdom down at your request. Whatever you, because the brother just read what you read, the fear of the Lord is all wisdom. That's everything, man. So when we talk about power and, and, and doing things and and glorify your heart by shining this earth in all kinds of diverse ways. We can do that. We can pull that off. We can do that on a whole nother level now. If we focus more on fear, watch what we do for the spirit. It's gonna be on a whole nother level, man. Talking about shaking the world on a whole nother scale, man. All right. I got a quick reset. Come on, go ahead. Right? Sira 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high. And is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all that and be mm. occupied and talk. 
Because wisdom is gonna meet him in every thought. Right. <laughs> and you searching from the, the 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 older stories literally comfort us right now. Right. Right now you see Esau the Tower of Babel. You got the understanding of the old Tower of Babel. You tap into that. And it helps you do what the family line of Shem did in that time. The, right. the ones who kept it right. right. Fear the Lord. Right. Right. You ain't building that. You ain't helping to build that tower. Right. And they're gonna lose. You got comfort in knowing. Read that again. Seven thirty nine and one. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancients. The ancients. What did they do? What did Noah do? Noah right. feared the Lord, bro. Right. <laughs> in the nutshell and, and his fear of the Lord led to that story God. God. led to that miracle That's right. That's it. Yep, led to the boat being built Thanks. but it all started on that one foundation so Jake think that they're going to be able to get through Jacob's trouble just, so just doing what they want to know there's a way of obedience you're going to have to walk in order for the miracle to come get it through your head <laughs> That's right, bro. That's right. Hey, listen. That's right, bro. Listen. I can't tell you nothing different. I can't right, trim right. my way to seek love. Look, it's trying to get real, bro. Like, look, we're gonna have to fear the Lord, bro. Period. <laughs> if you want to follow, if you think following Esau is a thing to teach, and that's the fear, nigga, you through. Right, man. We gonna have to fear the Lord, is you Israelites. We gonna have to fear the Lord. Yep. That's the solution. They looking for a monetary solution. This fear the Lord, bro. That's it. Right. Okay. Okay. Right after you. Okay. Can I get one? Unless I need to get your line. Up. No, no, no. That's fine. Go, go, go. To the spirit. Okay, this is one verse. This is uh, Hebrews 11 and 7. It says, By faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, preparing an ark to the saving, to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. Now, now check this out. It said he moved with fear to prepare the ark. He moved with fear, so the Lord gave him wisdom to even build the ark in the first place. Mm -hmm. And he says he and moved. He, right, 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 <laughs> right, right. Yeah, because he still was because he showed he showed yeah. him the vision. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he showed him the vision, and then he gave him the instructions. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's Sit on that. That's, that's pretty much it. Go, go ahead. Yeah. See, that's the whole this is going. You know. You just made the point, Yashua, about how they want the monetary system, but ours is the fear of the Lord. This is Isaiah chapter 30, 33, verse 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Not no monetary system. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. you ain't, we can't find it. If, we, if financial was our way out, we would never get to the kingdom. Is currency about to be the way we need? Well, he's too ahead of the race. Yeah. I mean, when you get 200, year, 200 plus years of right. free labor... Of course, you, you can't, you're not going to catch up to this nigga monetarily. Nah. Right. Even nah, if you did, you're still possible. under his system. You're not, you're though. Not, yeah, 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 it's, it's not possible. possible. <laughs> Everybody in this room can become, become billionaires right now, and we're not even yeah, two exactly. steps that's ahead in the race. That's right, Squad. That's facts. That's facts. He's yeah. way ahead of the game. Up. And then, when, like you say, even when you get there, he can manipulate exactly. it and manipulate it. <laughs> change it. He does hard stock say. market all the time. Bro. Mm -hmm. That's facts. That's facts. He's still in power. <laughs> now, now, real quick before you finish the scripture, I, sure. I always bring this up. When you read this scripture or you quote it, because I know that scripture is quoted a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You got to quote the whole thing. Absolutely. The whole, yep. Yes. Don't just quote half of it. There's a, re there's a big reason why. But go ahead. I'm going to start at the top again. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Now you see how that ended? The fear mm -hmm. of, that's why you can't just quote the wisdom of stability and that's it. Mm -hmm. It says to read that, that, that half. Wow. Part. Yeah, right. Yep. 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 That's true. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. The fear of the Lord is our, why is our treasure? Because it's everything. That's right. It's all wisdom. The fear right. of, look, look, the fear of the Lord, that's wisdom. Job 28, 28. So if it's our treasure, that's everything. That's the conclusion of the whole matter. We got to focus on that. Then we can get the wisdom more and be more stable, right? And have that strength of salvation like you just said. That's right. That's right. Yeah, 
How was Shai said it? He said, where a man's treasure will be, therefore his heart be also. Right here, it tells you what the treasure is. Thank you. And if I may, it really just, just to <laughs> add, when you read these scriptures, like punctuation pops. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. And when you read that beginning part that, that's always quoted, right. like you said, there's a colon that's listed afterward, because before it goes into what's the stability of the time from knowledge and wisdom. And we went into the monetary system. Now, they're looking at a monetary system to be their comfort. But we got the knowledge and wisdom. Now, when you go after what that colon means, it means everything that's listed afterwards is quantifying what was just stated before that. So the quantification of it is literally putting it in a nutshell. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. That's the knowledge and wisdom that's going to keep you stable in those <laughs> times and not no dang monetary system or nothing tangible that you can see. Right. You know, it's that's the fear the value. of the Lord. That's the value, too. That's right. the treasure where your heart is, what you value. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. That's right. You know, something interesting, too, um, is Solomon, which is Yahweh Shai, is where we get the 360 degrees of with knowledge was understanding wickedness that's a part of it you know uh, Solomon exuded that but he he wrote a synopsis of everything in the book of Ecclesiastes mm -hmm. he tells you I gave myself over to folly I gave mm -hmm. myself over he's telling you like you know I went there on the left hand All them books he probably everything was he was he into you know what I'm saying but he says in Sirach I mean Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. He had swimming pools, mm -hmm. men singers, women singers, chefs, a navy. the best of the, the <laughs> animals. He had everything. He had a navy. Yeah, right. yeah. But this is what he came to the conclusion out of everything he experienced. <laughs> All right. Yep. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the, fear the, the most high and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. Mm. Yeah, that's heavy. Yeah. That's the whole, the whole duty. That's right. That's, right. that's the whole duty. Mm. So can we focus on the whole duty and let everything else happen after that? That's, <laughs> that's the main thing. That's the main thing, right? You know, and and, and uh, you know, I put emphasis on that because when you when you come to this truth, guys can get puffed up because they know something, and they lose track of. Uh, oh, look, you better know if you know anything. You better know to fear the Lord. Okay, that's great. You know Esau is a so-called white man. That's great. You know Babylon's America, et cetera, et cetera. But know what you need to know. Because if you lose that fear, all what you know don't mean shit for you. Hey, that <laughs> one that you was talking about earlier, I found it. Just going into what you... Oh, oh come, yeah, yeah. Come. You go go ahead, read that. This is in Sirach 19 and 24. It says, He that has small understanding and fear at the most high is better than one that hath much wisdom and transgresses the law of the most high. Now, you will have a guy who know a lot, but they'll look down on a guy who don't know something. Then they'll make him, try to make him look stupid in front of everybody. Maybe he, you know, maybe he lack. He's like, no, he don't get it. They'll try to embarrass him. But the whole time, that individual fear the Lord way more than he do. Hmm. But he puffed up, though, because he knows something. But he don't know what he ought to know. Hmm. You see? And that goes to that serving your own belly because you're you feeding your own ego. And it's about you looking smart, being the smartest guy in the room. Yeah, that's what I guess you become whack. You become right. That's whack, man. Yeah, but that guy over in the corner who who kind of little Timmy you don't know that much, mm -hmm. <laughs> but he but his heart is set on fearing the Lord. Man, he really he over you in the in the yeah, Lord's yeah, eyes. You know, he's applying it. Yeah, you know that's right. That's he's right. counting more acceptable in the sight of the Most High because the Most High don't view the way men's eyes view. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. You know? exactly. Exactly. That's right. So what was that scripture? Sorry, remember. Oh yeah, Sirach right, nineteen and twenty-four. Nineteen. Okay, I remember nineteen twenty-four. Mm -hmm. so, somebody get a uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter seven, verse fourteen, and then also wisdom of Solomon chapter nine, verse ten. I got a hell right here. Go ahead. Let's, this is a uh, wisdom of Solomon seven and fourteen. For she is a treasure unto men that never fail. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. She is a treasure, but it said the fear of the Lord is a treasure mm -hmm. because the fear is the root of her. You catch, you catch that? Mm -hmm. Read that again. Yep. It says, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 14, For she is a treasure unto all men that never fail it, mm. which they that use become the friends of the most high. Come on, man. So when you fear the Lord more, you're closer. It's a closer relationship. That's what we got to understand here. Okay? Put, put the phone down. Put the entertainment down. And have some quality time on examining your fear and your heart. 
All of us got to do good at that, I'm sure. All right, sure. That, that, all, I mean, we live in a place where there's just constant distraction everywhere, man. Like, literally to keep you entertained with all right. kinds of folly and bullshit. But if you turn that off and just say, you know, I'm going to focus on the Lord, the angels, the Lord see that. He sees that, man. Read that again. It's common. Goodness gracious. This is um, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 14. For she is a treasure unto men that never fail it, uh -huh. which they that use become the friends of the Most High, being commended for the gifts that come from learning. Right, man. All wisdom. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. Mm -hmm. Mind if I jump to verse 27? Uh -huh. Go ahead. This is verse 27. In being but one, she can do all things, and remaineth in herself, she maketh all things new, and in all ages entering into holy souls. She maketh them friends of God and prophets. Ooh. Abraham was a friend of the Lord. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because he feared the Lord. He had he faith. Is. Yeah. That's right. We become friends with the Lord, vocally, with those men, but he revealed yeah, this, you know, he said, he, he I, I call you no more servants, but friends. Right. I mean, I'm going to open up things to you that I ain't going to share with it. I mean, that's big time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you are my friends. Because you right. fear. You dedicated to the fear. Your spirit was chosen. You know. Man, that's heavy, man. Yeah. Right. It's an open door. Right. A few more? Yeah, there's a few more. Okay. Somebody wasn't talking to me. No, no, you good. You good. I was just. No, no. We're going. Yeah, 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 it's coming. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and then somebody holds Sirach chapter 4, verse 15. We're going to read through 20. Sirach 4, verse 15. Go ahead. Wisdom Psalm 9 and 10. Come on. All right, it says, Wisdom Psalm 9 and 10 says, O send her out of thy holy heavens and from the throne of thy glory, that being present she may labor with me, that may know what is pleasing unto thee. So he said, O send her. So you want the Lord to send her. But where is your fear at, though? Yeah. That's the first thing you should be acknowledging before you ask anything. Where is your fear? Like, like, you know, where are you at in your spirit when it comes to that personal relationship? Okay. Well, what, what verse was that? Sirach, uh, uh, Sirach chapter four. Oh, oh, you mean what he just read? Yeah, it was Solomon nine and ten. Yeah. Ten. Okay. All right. Yeah, Sirach four. Yeah, Sirach four started verse fifteen. Rock chapter 4 and verse 15. Whosoever giveth ear unto her shall judge the nation. Woo! Man. And I'm going to have slaves, man. How many slaves you going to have? Shoot, man. They're going to be over here. They're going to be doing this. I'm going to punch him back in the head. I'm, you know, just, just you would, talking. When you deal with a judge, you would want a judge that feared the Lord. Yeah, right. Yeah, right yeah. That's the best judge. Right. <laughs> it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Because he's going to judge in, in the, the rulership, the judges of this world is all wicked. Right. So wickedness is able to flourish and, and it's not a stop to the, under a righteous rulership, but it's got to be founded upon the fear of the Lord. That's what the nations are going to learn. Right. So what we're doing is leading into that. Us ruling over them and telling them, look, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to stop doing. This is what you need to do. Judgment. Read it again. Sirach chapter 4 and verse 15. Whosoever give an ear unto her shall judge the nations. And he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely. If a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her. And his generation shall hold her in possession. Look, he shall inherit her. Come on, that's a gift. <laughs> that's, that's a huge gift. Go ahead. Biggest gift above all. Verse 17, for at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and tor torment him with her discipline until she may trust his soul. Ooh, until she may trust his soul. Right. And, and in trusting his soul is, do you really fear? Okay, you know, you fear the Lord. Okay, let me come into you. Let me sup with you. Let me, let me meet you in every thought. Let me guide you in a dark place because I'm the light. You can't make this up, man. Go, go ahead, Ot. And try him by her laws. Mm -hmm. Verse 18. And then will she return the straight way unto him and cover him and show him her secrets. Ooh, because she trusts him. Why? Because he feared. That's why she trusts. 
that that's that that's that connection with that fear because the fear is a root. Okay, how she how is she gonna go into you without the roots? That's how you gotta look at that. She looking at you, nah, he ain't got no roots. I'm getting out of here. You know, go ahead. Right. Verse nineteen. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. Oh, terrible, oh, terrifying. If he forsake fear, then then I'm fleeing from him, and he gonna be consumed in wickedness and evil. Go ahead. Observe the opportunity. And a beware of evil. Observe. So right now we're observing the opportunity to zone in more on fear. Let me how about you my teach us like we read in Psalm 34. Mm -hmm. Come, my children, I will teach you to fear the Lord. That's what we into it. That's what we're getting deep into right now. Because that's our power at the end of the day. Nothing else is our power except that. Ain't no way, ain't no way to the power but fear. Go ahead. Is that verse 20? Yeah. That you just read? All right, somebody, can somebody get Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 17? I got it right here. Go ahead. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 17. For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, and the care of discipline is love. And love is the keeping of her laws, and the giving heed of her laws is the assurance of incorruption. Well, assurance of incorruption. That's immortality. You ain't going to die. You're going to live forever. Go ahead. Come. It says in verse 19, and in corruption maketh us near unto the most high. Ooh. Oh, friend of God. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. So right now is the time for us to get near. We see the prophecies happen. So now we gotta be the mind frame. Let's get let's all together get near. I mean, obviously we have you know, fear the Lord. We gotta work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. But as a body, we have to work on fear the Lord more. Because we see what time it is. He's allowed us. He's given us a spirit to tap into the future, man. So we can see. Oh, snap. You know what? Let's, 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 let's examine this right now. You know? That's what he's allowed us to do. So we need to do that. Right. Go ahead. Right? Go to 21. Gun. This is verse uh, 19 again. And in corruption maketh us near to the most high. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth unto Salakia. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. Mm. If your delight be in thrones and scepters, then, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom, that ye may reign forevermore. You honor wisdom by having healthy roots. Mm -hmm. That's how you honor wisdom, having healthy roots, a healthy fear, a pure fear. That don't mean you do everything right all the time. Right. But even getting back up from a fall is fearing the Lord. To get back up, that means you fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you would just stay down and be like, whatever. Right. You know, you know how many guys went back into the world because they fell, mm -hmm. but didn't get back up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Lord say, Lord say, if you don't fight for me, if you faint and you lose patience, what you gonna do when the Lord come? Right. He, he ain't gonna defend you. Um, you ain't gonna have that protection, like we read in Psalm thirty-four, verse seven. Um, that protection. All right. Go ahead. Uh, Somebody get James chapter 4, <laughs> verse 7 and 8. Four. Yeah. Uh, James chapter 4, read verse 7 and verse 8. Because that brother just read about getting closer to him, right? So this is going to hit it on a nail right here. Verse 4, right? No, no, no. Uh, 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 James chapter 4, verse 7. Oh, see, James chapter 4, and verse 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Resist the devil. That's the fear. You're resisting him because you fear the Lord, and he will flee. Right? right? Now, check out what verse 8 says. Go ahead. Verse 8. Draw nigh unto the Most High, and he will draw nigh unto you. That's how you draw nigh unto him. Fearing, resisting. Okay? That's why I say he that resists his pleasures, crown of what? Crown of his life. Job. Job resisted Satan. Sure. He did. You know what I'm saying? He said, though the most high slay me, how can the most high slay Job? Right. Through Satan. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what happened. Yeah. Straight up. You know? Man. So right now we gotta be in the mind frame of getting closer. 
There's a lot of knowledge, a lot of things we can talk about when it comes to the truth in general. But this is the best thing. That's right. Absolutely. Right. There's, there's nothing better than this. And you can feel the spirit. When you focus on the fear of the Lord, you can feel the spirit on a whole other level. Exactly. Because that's the Lord talking to you like, yeah, this is what I want you. It's, it's that connection, man. Okay. Now get a couple more. Some, somebody get Sirach chapter 1. Verse 11, and somebody hold. I got Sirach. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 9. Sirach 1 and 11. The fear of the Lord is honor and glory and gladness. Ooh! Honor and glory and gladness. Why is gladness? Because, it is, like I just said, the spirit. So the fear of the Lord, read that again. The fear of the Lord, Sirach 1 and 11. The fear of the Lord is honor and glory and gladness. And a crown of rejoicing. Mm -mm -mm. Is it on it? Verse 26. If thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments. <laughs> and the commandments are in the spirit too. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Precepts are commandments. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 if you love me, Peter, right. Peter my sheep. Right. That's the, a commandment. The commandments. Do what he say, do. Right. So. With the understanding of the grace, with the understanding of why he died, right. blood. Right. Okay, all that, man. Man, that's heavy, man. Right. I might put his word honor. Then let's look more on it. I'm sorry. A little bit more. Yeah, little bit. If thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments, and the Lord shall give her unto thee. For the fear of the Lord is wisdom and instructions, and faith and meekness are his delight. I got something back here real quick. This is John 15 and 14. It says, Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. A precept is a what? A command. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, that's it. Right. And, 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 and Paul was doing the same thing. He was like, look, bro, I'm just telling you the best advice for the situation you're talking about. Right. Precepts. Commandments. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it all goes to the spirit of the situation. You know what I'm saying? And it's and, and the, 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 the conclusion is the fruit. That's right. In any situation, the fruit of the most high got to be the first thing. You know what I'm saying? Like Cap say, what is the Lord telling me? You that that's fear. When you scared, the first thing you want to do is figure out what you can do to not be so scared. You know what I'm saying? What is the Lord telling me? And then you go from there. You'll find what you'll find the answer you're looking for. Because the Lord ain't playing with us, you know. What I'm right. <laughs> when he tap me, when he when he say, hey, look, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? That's right. God. That's God. Somebody got Proverbs. Oh, oh, somebody you want to get? Just the word said? honor. Yeah, God, God, get, get. Honor, wisdom, and Cat brought that precept out. God. But this is the word honor. I just pulled it up in um, just yeah. Google. But it says having a high respect for a great esteem. And then it says, um, to, it says adherence to what is right or to do conventional standard of conduct. Meaning you're going to walk a particular way if you show forth that honor. Honor wisdom, and then he went into that precept right there, going into how you honor the most high. And that's how you want your woman. Exactly. If you could create a woman, you would make her that way. Right. Create a woman. We need to have some skits, you know. <laughs> Man. <laughs> create, Man. Create a wife. You know? Hey. <laughs> and the kingdom, hey, we but seriously, you would make she would, you know what I'm saying? She would have a way. Because there's a woman who's physically attractive, but then there's a woman who She's just fair, you know, just a, a woman, nothing too much, you know, pretty skin, you know, but she ain't the, but her fear of the Lord makes her beautiful. It does. Her, yeah, that, that's her uh, fear and respect and reverence and honor of you. Big time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why the Lord said, forget about how she looked. Was that in the Apocrypha? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, don't, yeah. Don't, don't be taken yeah. by the beauty of the woman. Yeah. How virtuous is she? Right now, she got one eye. You know. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's retarded. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the Lord is fair. Right. The Lord is right. fair. Right. You know what I'm right. right. saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? There's a, a limit to being, right. you know what I'm saying? He ain't going to put a wig on a pig and make her righteous. Right. Hey, some ugly ass, there's going to be some ugly ass women be saved. And her ugly ass gonna be put with you. Yeah, good with me. Yeah, put a dress on the mess and keep it moving. <laughs> hey. Oh Lord. Oh. Please. The 
ugly ass. Gross. Save your, he can save your ugly ass girl. Come oh on. man, all right. Good. Come on, let's There's get one more definition yeah. Now, how do you keep her? Because this wisdom says she'll flee if you go wrong. Right. You keep her by the fear of the Lord. Right. Otherwise, she'll take off. Yep, yep, yep. And you be searching for her. She, she ain't talking to you until you come. Because it says that she'll return if you repent. Right. right. You do right, then she'll return to you. But if you don't be in the spirit of repentance of the things you do that's wrong, you just doing stuff like you don't care, then she'll flee. Because that's totally what I you understand. Take that spirit from you you right. flee from your woman when she get in that spirit. Yeah, you don't want to deal with her. It's nasty. That's facts. You're not worthy. That's facts. Man. Is it on that? That was uh, probably uh, four? Four and nine. Yeah, I read nine and I read hopefully like the 12. I think. Okay, okay, not, okay. No, no, you, you, you good. You good. You good. Now, it's a couple more then we're going to end it off. Uh, okay. Somebody get wisdom of Solomon chapter 7, verse 26. And somebody hold Proverbs 4, verse 18. I'm already there. I was just going to jump down. Oh, yeah, you're here. <laughs> okay, I'll go just ahead. read. I got the wisdom of Solomon. All right, but go ahead. I'm still holding it. This is a wisdom of Solomon 7 and 26. Uh -huh. It says, For she is the brightness of the level at everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of the Most High. The unspotted mirror of the power. Of the, so it's pure power. She is basically, he, he basically sending down you power from the heavens. That's basically what that is. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, And the image of his goodness. Mm. You read the precept earlier going into how she is beside by his throne. She's in the presence of his holy throne. Now, now it says she is the image of his goodness. Mm -hmm. So when you fear, that's our relationship, then he brings you more, he changes you more to his image. Mm -hmm. That's that relationship. Right. Right. Then you walk in different, to, you, you know, you act in different, there's a certain spirit on you because he's changing you to your image. You got a new attitude. Right, man. That's all power. Go ahead. Come, come. You know, verse 27 again. It says, in being but one, she can do all things. And remaining in herself, she maketh all things new. She can do all that. Wait, she can do all things. That means you can do all things right. if you connect it to her. That's right. That's a solid point. That's why Yahweh Shah said, hey, hey, you can move them out. You can do this, do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, it, the understanding is supposed to be, yeah, with the faith, you can do these things. Mm -hmm. But the fear has to be there. Right. Along with that faith. That's why faith is dead without what? Without works. Mm -hmm. Without moving. Right? Go ahead. Continuing on, and in all ages, entering into holy souls, mm. she maketh them friends of God and prophets. Well, there you go. You got Proverbs 4 and 18? Kind of, kind of Proverbs 4 and 18. Somebody go hold Luke eleven thirty five. 35. Go ahead. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The path of the just is the shining light that shineth more and more, right? Mm -hmm. That's me more fear. That's it. Because how your wisdom going to shine more and more without more fearful to shine more and more. So that shows you that the Lord expected us to get our fear up. As we walk to this this hopeful salvation, our fear has to grow in the way. Right. Otherwise, if it don't grow in the way, you're going to be stagnant. And you right. know what happens when that happens? Them demons ready to get you. That's how that works. Right. 
For is beginning of wisdom, and wisdom, the scripture says, make it thy face to shine. Man, there you go. It says, you got to be able to uh, said, yeah, that's it. Somebody get Luke eleven twenty five. Somebody hold First John one and seven two. Luke eleven and twenty five or thirty five. It's Luke eleven and thirty five. It says, "Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness." Mm. Take heed if you fear the Lord. That's what it's talking about. Take heed. Examine yourself. Do you really fear me? That's what the Lord is saying. Take. Read it again. I. Said, take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. Right. Okay. You got to take heed of that, man. Because wisdom, like we said, wisdom will flee. So you got to, it goes back to examine yourself. Basically telling you to examine yourself. All right. Uh, see, that was, that was Luke, Luke 35, right? Luke 11, 35? 11, 35. Okay. First John 1 and 7. Almost so, done. First John. Uh -huh. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. Fellowship. In the blood of Yahweh Mashiach, his son cleanses us Ooh. from all sin. Man. Man. That's that's self. I ain't gotta even add to that. Yeah. Uh what was that? First John one seven. Yeah. Cope. Ooh, that's cold. That's a cold scripture. John right there. was on some other stuff. Bro, man. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, he, he was the next level, bro. Man. That's Third in command. It makes sense. Yep. I would, you know, I would think so. Me too. Yeah. Somebody get Matthew chapter 5. Read verse 14 through 16. Well, second in command under David, I mean. Huh, I know what you mean. You know what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Under David, I, I think he's second. Yahweh always pulled, you know what I'm saying? He was one of the three that he pulled to the side. That was his best friend. His best friend, yep. Yep. Was, Yeah, Peter, James, John. Yep. Yep. Was, was his brother that James? Yep. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and he probably his, kept out Peter on his, 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 yeah, his, his, his biological brother, the Peter and John. Ah, oh, man, that's a man. Yeah, that's, man, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, that's a nice cabinet. Uh, yeah. that's, that's, imagine what they're gonna right have. There. Imagine what they're gonna have under your house. Nice <laughs> right. Man. Everything. Mm -hmm. Alright, you got Matthew 5 14? I got it. Read through uh, through 16. Go ahead. Okay. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, starting at verse 14. And it reads, <laughs> Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. But on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. The more we fear, the more our light's going to shine before men. The more they're going to see our good works. And then go ahead. And glorify your Father which is in heaven. So, we, so we're able to glorify him more by fearing him more because he gives him more wisdom to glorify him more on the earth. That's that go back to that tight relationship. We, the whole thing, the, the point is to get our relationship tight. Our relationship tight with Yahweh about Shema Shai, man. More tighter than it is now. All right? That's it on that was 16, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Sirach 19 and 5. Sirach 19 and 5. Go ahead. Sirach 19 and 5 reads, Whoso taketh pleasure in wickedness shall be condemned. But he that resisteth pleasure his life. Man, this is literally what we're going through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Read that again. That's right. Sirach 19 and 5. Whoso taketh pleasure in wickedness shall be condemned. That's Jake. They go, they consented themselves under each other. They're getting ready to be condemned. But go right. ahead. But he that resisteth pleasures crowneth his life. Ooh. He that resisteth pleasures crowneth his life. Wisdom. The crown. Man. <laughs> No. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, somebody hold. Somebody get Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Read 12 and 13. Philippians 2, verse 12 and 13. I got two more. That's Philippians 2 and 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, that is in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is the most high which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Right, and he's working in you through the wisdom, through that relationship. 
Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. Hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Mm. So right now we in the spirit of getting deep into working out our own salvation with fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. Because that's the strength of our salvation. Like you read in uh, Isaiah 33, verse 6. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. The wisdom not sh shall be the stability. Okay, you can't make this up, man. Okay, I got two more scriptures. Somebody hold Proverbs 3, verse 6. We're going to read through 8. And then somebody hold Proverbs. Proverbs 14, verse 26. That's the last two scriptures. Proverbs 3 and 6, it says, uh, can I start at 5? Can I? Can I? <clears throat> Proverbs 3 and 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lead, and lead not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. <clears throat> Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Mm. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Mm. Come on, man. Health yeah. to thy navel. Man, come on, man. That's that's what's going to get us more healthy. Right. To get through the famine and all of that. Right. Fear man. the Lord. Because <laughs> you, you, you can go any diet you want. Diet is good. You can go any diet you want. But the, be but the best diet is, is to fear the Lord. That's going to make us real healthy, man. Yeah. That's going to get us where we need to go. Do our bodies breaking down and we going through aches and pains? That's going to take place. But at the end of the day, we can escape all that and get that peace that we desire mm -hmm. through that fear, man, mm -hmm. at the end of the day. That's right. That's right. Is it, is it on that right now? Is eight? you want to go to? To eight. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And the last one, Proverbs 14, 26. Proverbs chapter 14. Can I start up? Yeah. One verse. Okay. Proverbs 14 and 25. A true witness delivers his soul, but a deceitful witness speaks lies. And like uh, Elder Yashwam always go into, you know, through their testimony that we bear, you know, hey, we're going to be delivered. And, you know, we're doing this work for ourselves as a speech of an apocrypha and for, you know, those that hear it. Mm -hmm. Verse 26, and the fear of your house is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. Read that again, Baba Gisha. Uh, verse 26 and the fear of Yahweh is, is strong confidence and his children shall have a place of refuge that's protection so it's a strong confidence in that refuge so when you feel the Lord more you have a stronger confidence and you believe more in that refuge because you fear the Lord because that wisdom is meeting you in your thoughts for you to believe it, it, it's giving you that spirit it's making you closer man you know the closer you are to your the more you believe that's a fact. The more that's why King David, that's why King David was was so bold to, to talk like he was talking to Goliath in his faith in front of everybody. Even though Goliath got the reputation of destroying many. Right. But David didn't care. Because why? He had, he had wisdom. He had to fear the Lord in him. And so he, he didn't fear nothing. So the more we fear the Lord, we we ain't gotta fear nothing that Esau gonna do. Or what he's talking about. Or anybody for that matter. So there's one more verse. I just want you, it goes right into what you're saying go right ahead, afterwards. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Verse 27, the fear of Yahweh is a fount of life to depart from the snares of death. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's the spirit we read there. That's the spirit. Oh, read okay. that again. No, no, no. That, that's great. Go ahead. Read it again. The fear of Yahweh is a fount of life to depart from the snares of death. So there you go, man. What that's what that's it? Uh, Proverbs 14 and 27. We read 25 through 27. Man, there's so much wisdom in this book, man. Yes. Master Spirit. It's never ending, man. Any, anything else? Any other scripture of it? Love is the key. That's right. So, hey, just fear the Lord, man. Focus focus on the roots. If you got healthy roots, you being the plant, you'll grow. You'll get close to your high boss, you'll have that refuge. You'll believe in that refuge. You know, No matter what comes in your path, you'll be able to overcome it through that strength. So, with that, we'll give our praise to Double honor to the Elder Great Millstone and shout out to you, Akram out there that's doing the truth is sincerity. Shout out. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.